also going to be excited to uh, see uh, how uh, how in practice they are because they both have very exceptional times. They, bo- they both have 38s. I think yeah. LZ has a 28, Waffle has a 39. Okay, we're going to be starting the race right now. Um, Waffle's been looking pretty good in practice. He busted out a low 39, 39.15 um, in the last race. You said that he had a couple beers already, so uh, we'll see. It is 40 Friday. But yeah, our racers will be uh, getting started very shortly. Oh, the waffle's off, and calm mutism is off. LZ. Okay, a little bit of stream delay. see. Waffle getting a 2-1 warp already. Off to a good start. Same to LZ. Laws not taking it at all and communism looked like he had a bit of difficulty. Uh, what's going on with uh, communism? I'm not quite sure. Might be a little bit of frame dropping. It's looking better now, though. All right, that's good. Uh, I didn't see whether Waffle and uh, LZ looks like they both looks like they both got luck draw. Yeah, I think we're saw two luck draws over on their screen. Uh, looks like there might be a bit of stuttering. Apologies. Okay, looking like a pretty solid uh, World 1 from Waffle so far, though. Oh, no. LZ missing a top sail. It looks like LZ... Ah, communism taking damage. Uh, maybe... Uh, he does... Do they know about the warp, right? Yeah. I'm sure they do. But uh, I think it looks like LZ went for the... Uh, the very hard setup, uh, the hard uh, topsoil setup. Waffle with a 209, looks like. Uh, yeah, it looks like Waffle. Yeah, it looks like Waffle's gonna be uh, ahead coming out of here. Although it's although because of the stream delay, it's hard to it's hard to tell. How much of it was because of Crow and how much of it was because of that uh, mistake in 1.5 from LZ? Yeah. Uh, communism not taking top still, uh, wrong work at all. I can respect that. Which. Like in, in, which like in races, like in these sorts of races, uh, if you're not absolutely confident, why, 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 why take the chance? Okay, it looks like they both. Uh, okay, it looks like both LZ and Waffle are getting the big boy, no problem. So, really, nothing too bad so far. Uh, aside from pretty bad luck from LZ. Yeah. The, uh, the first, the first, honestly, the first two worlds are just like vying for, they're are just like vying for a position. They're like the little things. Uh, it, it determines like how it basically determines like a head start. Yeah, it basically it still determines how much matters because like if you miss lava fly or something, that's a that's major. Oh yeah, I forgot about lava fly. But. I, but yeah, there's like definitely stuff that can go wrong, but for the most part, it's mostly just uh, getting through the world, especially World 2.
Oh, Companion is having a bit of difficulty with uh, the big boy. Hate to see it. Waffle and Cleaver. Looking decent so far. Okay, level fly is safe. I'll get there. Uh, fun fact about LZ: when he's doing um, PB attempts, he resets over Cleaver uh, RNG. Only gamer that I know that does that. Shows you how dedicated he is to getting the most pristine early game possible. LZ. Uh, I I remember LC when he was grinding back in the day. He had he had his split names named uh, like five twelve reset, twelve forty two oh three reset, and then one and Kuso rolled. <laughs> uh, I love it. Like he he would just reset if if he didn't get better than those split times, and he like so much that he put it in his that that was his split names. Yeah. Crazy. He also had like an insane ratio, like 90 completed runs to um, like over 10,000 attempts, like 13,000 attempts. Wow. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> yeah, that's like when some... he was grinding for a world record back in the day. Luckily, he achieved it. But yeah. Sounds like, some era. Mario... Sounds like the ratio of some Mario Odyssey and Mario 64 runners. Yeah, it's it's up there. Then. Yo, G, let's go. Thank you, Waffle, for uh, blessing us. The G. The G. U. S. No, I'm not. I'm not. Um. Yeah. I was taking a bit of a custom Rambi route. Hmm. Kind of interesting. LZ, uh, not getting the G sandwich. Hate to see it. That's all right though. Not okay, two. Is G. Two for three. <laughs> Looks like communism also hit lava fine. Love to see it. <laughs> so can you tell us about Francis the fish in uh glimmers? I hate that guy. <laughs> LZ came up, was coming up to him right now. Looks like he avoided being Francis on. Yeah, it was hard to tell uh, which way Francis went because of the, uh, the, the freeze, but it looks like he got through it. I feel like Francis gets. Oh, uh, awful taken to death. Oh, what? Yeah, I hate to see that. Looks like he missed uh, one of the gap rolls in Crackhead. Okay, it looks like he got through it this time. I know that Waffle, um, definitely an accomplished gamer, but he's definitely turned down the strats, made things a lot simpler. There's PB attempts. So, okay, yeah. waffle should be good. Yeah, just the nice, simple crackhead. Not going even further, Biabi, but you don't need those 20 frames really. It looks like it looks like a uh, LZ, uh, like half half kind of went for. Her. But it looks like LZ went a little bit further than waffle. Yeah. 
in the end though they both got it they are now in the one of one of the uh, the more famous levels of the game oh hello and welcome void rolling oh out. and walk void hello void hello and walk i forgot that i put myself down for comps <laughs> for uh, this race but now uh, he here i am so uh yeah rolling in glad to have you yeah. All right. Glad to be here with the gamers. All right. Been uh, pretty good so far. Mom yeah. Took a death. But um. Where did where did he die? Uh, died to a gap roll in crack warp. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Classic, classic. I hate to see it. I do hate to see it. It's pretty close between Waffle and LZ, actually. Yeah, there's there was a, a, bit, bit, of, of, a yeah. bit of stream delay, I believe, but still keeping it pretty respectable, I think. Yeah, yeah I'll say you started, uh, I want to say, like, 10 seconds uh, after everyone else. So, uh, it's a bit hard to make out the exact status of the race, but... in the barrels, finding everybody of their respective childhoods, I'm sure. Yeah, both of them going for, neither of them going for the, uh, well, both of them going for quick shot ship. Quick shot skip. <laughs> See, that's an on I think that's an alliteration. Uh, Waffle revealed to me the other day that uh, he has never gone for Dave Clip ever in practice nor in runs. He thinks it's a garbage strat. And uh, here we see that demonstrated as he skips Dave Clip. Yeah, I think it's safe to say now that LZ is, has caught up, has surpassed Waffle because of that. Although it doesn't look like that on stream. Yeah. And I and I can respect, I can respect that opinion uh, from Waffle because Dave Clip for because Dave Clip doesn't save too much over the uh, over to the D boost onto uh, like after the tubes. Dave, Dave Clip yeah. will save you time if you can get it like within two or three tries. Well, I mean, I think I think within two tries, in fact. <laughs> But yeah, in any case, I'm not too surprised about um, about Waffle lulls, not going for uh, Dave Clip. The lols uh, got Dave Clip no problem. Which I'm pretty sure lols is a Dave Clip main. What? Yeah, I don't think he goes for Vine Clip. I think he just always goes for Dave Clip first. Interesting. Strat. But it's yeah, I I agree, definitely a call. Um, yeah, I was gonna say because his decision. Well, yeah, yeah. That's a yeah, that's the first time. They're all in, they're all in cudgel. Well, well um, three five. of them are in cudgel. They, they must be really close. Three out of four. Anybody got a rubber band at the ready? <laughs> Can Waffle get the jump? Oh, wa Waffle is a huge uh, proprietor of Diddy Hornet. He, he's the one who popularized Diddy Hornet, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there you I, go. Got I it. saw that coming from all the way. I'm sure we all did. I've, I've seen him take his uh, fair bit of hits on the uh, two framer. Yeah. But... It's interesting because like it, it it's such a strat that doesn't fit his playstyle, but he <laughs> like you know he, he champions it. Yeah, I think that's like, kind of cool though. Yeah, like of course. 
um, if I had to describe like Waffles' play style overall, he's definitely more on like the poor consistency over speed, you know. But, but then he just a... loves Diddy Hornet for some reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never gonna drop it ever. I'm more surprised that LZ uh, didn't go for Diddy Hornet, considering his strats and um, an attitude towards the game. Uh, yeah. Elsie's pretty um, balls to the wall with a lot of stuff, but he's never been one for Diddy Hornet. I don't think it, he saves enough time with it. I want to say yeah, that so like the, the like the Diddy Hornet strat is not very popular amongst Japanese runners, but that could be like a misconception that I have. I like I don't, I don't I don't think I've really seen like many Japanese runners go for it. I yeah. think Tazaria goes for it, but Tazaria is Tazaria. Tazaria also though. goes for a lot of garbage, yeah. <laughs> so. Like Swag Balloon? Yeah. Why does he have to go for Swag Balloon? Ooh, now clip on Kong Unism screen. Nice. Ooh. Wow. wow. Spicy. Rare strat, new strat. Yeah, it's like a shiny Pokemon. I like to see it. I also saw LZ uh, get Swag Balloon in his practice run before this. He's like. Right before this? He's a swag ballooner. So, I hate to say it, but he's a swag ballooner. Project. Yeah. The Japanese yeah. love the swag balloon, looks like. I, I think Tonkatsu's our man here. But, um. Regarding the, the, the no swag balloon crew? Or... Yeah. Waffle. Yeah. Waffle, well, I'm, I'm sure it's definitely not gonna go for it. Oh, Waffle, I've, well, yeah, yeah. I've heard his is, opinions. Waffle is as anti swag balloon as I am. <laughs> That like tells you anything. He's as anti swag balloon as he is pro Diddy Hornet. <laughs> yep, there it is. Say no Thank to swag. Thank you, LZ, but you know. Oh, yep. God damn it, LZ. Why'd you have to do that to me? Tragic. Um, Waffle. Oh, I was gonna say, uh, hot... if you had, like, there's gonna be. I'll wait for Waffle to get this. Okay. Waffle going for, uh... For sure going for corner, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh. He's a corner uh, in the tournament. Oh, has to take the, the backup. He, he didn't, he did, he didn't need to, but I understand why he did. Okay, he wow, to. that was a... Uh, yeah, that, that looked like a pretty tight jump to both get over the, the crook and uh, not take... Uh, step on the bramble. A little yeah. tight. But now that they're both uh, past uh, uh, Brambler, wh what I wanted to say... Uh... Uh, oh yeah, Rat Jam's, Rat Jam's out in the chat. Got a lot of... 3 out of 4 Rat Jammers right now. Uh-oh. Okay, you got number two guy. Okay. Yeah. A little bit spooky, but... Good so far. No, uh, tragedies in, um, Rickety Race. Okay, Law's taking it, a uh, very nice and safe Brambler approach. And Elsie and Waffle both entering Mudhole. Definitely a hardest, one of the hardest, if not the hardest, platforming stage in the game. Definitely could uh, see a gap here. I'm hoping not to, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Things have been known to happen in this level. Yeah, okay. Both taking, opting uh, out of Under the World and just getting midway. Uh, safety gamers. Like yeah. Skip. I'm very pro uh, Under the World skip in races. I've, I've been like anti Under the World since I saw you get like a 1x without Under the World. It's like, I don't.